Monroe Field in Columbia, Missouri. These fans are jumped for the start of this game. And it's a little cloudy out here tonight for this game between the Missouri Tigers and the Boise State Broncos. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. And with me, as always, Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. And Aaron Andrews joins us on the sidelines. EA Sports welcomes you to what should be another great game of NCAA football. The player to watch today is on the defensive side of the ball, lining up at cornerback. Yep. When this kid steps up, this defense plays a lot better. He does a good job of locking down receivers and taking away one side of the field. Kirk, I know you like this kid. How do you think he'll play? It's hard to say, Coach. He's going up against great receivers today. We'll keep an eye on him as the game plays out. Well, thanks, guys, and it looks like we're ready for the coin toss. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. Kicks it off, and this game is underway. Brought down by the kicker. And here comes the quarterback onto the field, set to lead this offense for the first time today. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. They hand it off. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. And we'll take a break while the injured player is attended to. This is easy. Run cover two with man coverage. The backfields in a net eye formation. Flips it over to the middle of the running back. Brought down around the 36-yard line. Nice pass there, and the quarterback was under a lot of pressure from the defense. And that one will move them a little closer to the sticks. Nice six-yard game. Let's send it down to Aaron Andrews with an update. Aaron? Thanks, Brad. He took a tremendous hit to his chest, and what we're hearing down here is that he has suffered at least one broken rib. He is out for the rest of the game and will be reevaluated tomorrow. Brought up to you guys in the booth. Hopefully he isn't out for too many games. Thanks for that update, Aaron. guys aren't afraid to challenge you down the field. I'd keep three guys back to protect against a downfield throw. And they make the stop at the 32. The this offensive Nine line will have a good time figuring on that play, out, but it was pick picked up, on up very foot. nicely by that big offensive line. Yeah, that certainly helped spring him free, coach. This defense has to do a better job of getting around those blocks. Taken down as he works the left for a nice game. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. The back did a good job here of finding the hole and getting upfield for a four-yard gain. They'll get him for a loss. There's a player injured, but it looks like it's just a stinger. I think you should try and get in there to rattle this quarterback. Let's turn up the pressure and go with the linebacker blitz. On the counter, wrestled down behind the line. That was well was defended by this chance. defense. Hey, that linebacker friend, made this a nice isn't play. one of them. But what about all the guys, guys up front that are deep in the ball? Good too, boy. Well, they created the play this time, Coach. The offensive line is so concerned with their penetrating abilities that these linebackers are able to roam free and make plays like that. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. Didn't get all of that one. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. Yep, that punter did his job this time. This offense has a lot of field to make up now. And that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. Feeds it to the back. Decent run here, right side. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. Second and two coming up here. Ball on their own 23. 
Nickel defense. Short pass, middle of the field. And he's tackled at the 37. Our cameraman didn't even know who had the ball. I'm pretty sure the defense didn't either. The halfback did a heck of a job faking like he was running with the ball. <laughs> they were about to tackle him. Now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news. What do you got for us, Aaron? Thanks, guys. He was limping around for a bit, but the trainers have made him sit down while they tend to his hip. This is a minor injury and will not keep him out of this game. Brad? Thanks, Aaron. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And this one's a short kick. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. A fumble really hurt this team's last drive, so let's see if they can make up for that blunder on this drive. You know, this offense can't afford another turnover here. Right now, it's only a seven-point game, but if they keep giving the ball away, then this deficit will go up in a hurry, Coach. you got to keep the defense honest by throwing in a good play-action pass every now and then. Four wide. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. Great play fake by this young man to keep the zone coverage honest. He froze him just long enough to find his man for a well-executed first and ten. Here's the halfback. And he's taken down at the 32. An eight-yard gain. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Three wide receivers on the field. The quarterback in the shotgun. Brought down at the 29-yard line. So that scamper by the halfback is good for a first down. Great job by the back to follow his blockers and pick up the three-yard gain on the run. Throws it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 14. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely right. The reason why this play worked is that the play action froze the defense just enough to allow the receiver to get open. Big play, and it's first and goal. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. Hands off to the back, and he's in. He followed his blocks and rammed his way into the end zone. Yeah, the back needs to give credit to that offensive line for that one. They created the space for him to run through. Here, guys, both teams are in their goal line sets, and it's hard to stop any offense when they're that close to the goal line. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. And now we take a look at the drive summary. Missouri, ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's this see how the defense the will hold up now as this offense comes out for their next drive. One man backfield. Passes to the left, and it's going the other way. To the 20. And he's taken down at the 15. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Well, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. When you're this close to scoring a touchdown, I'm telling my guys to hold on to the football. They line up in the shotgun. And it's knocked away. When you're inside your opponent's 20, you can play it safe or you can go for it all. I let my quarterback throw for a touchdown here. Going with the shotgun here. 
He's drilled as he throws. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. And yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. That was a really nice throw by the quarterback. He found a receiver in between the coverage on the post route, and he had no problem finding the end zone. And he adds the extra point. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And into the end zone, down for back. Interception cut this offense last drive short. They were a little more success right here. This defense has stepped up to the challenge, but there is a long way to offense. Just as long avoid these turnovers. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. If you are going to play man coverage, it's usually a good idea to keep the safety deep in the middle of the field. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Throws complete. Big loss. That's a loss of about five. Well, this was not the best of plays that we've seen from them today. Yep. They would have been better off throwing an incompletion. That's going to do it for the first quarter. And we got a good one so far. Four here at Ferret Field is Missouri 14, Boise State 7. Boise State 7. Third down and 12 to go. Ball on the 18. The crowd is really letting them hear it. Looking to throw. He's tackled at the 20. Another interception, and this is not what the quarterback had in mind. Kirk, you probably know this better than anybody, but you just can't let a couple of interceptions get into your head. You gotta just move on and play with confidence, right? What are you saying? That I threw a lot of interceptions or something? But you're right. You gotta bounce back and keep your composure. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's got a touchdown. And again, it's the receiver who's making some noise by scoring the touchdown. You know, this guy is such a difficult target to cover in the passing game. It usually doesn't matter who's covering him. He always seems to find a way to get open and make a catch. And he makes it look so easy, too, doesn't he? Just effortless. It's pretty awesome to watch in person. Missouri to kick this one off. He just drills this one. He's taken down at the 23. The quarterback comes back on the field, and I'm sure he's hoping to make up for that interception on the last drive. Watch out for this defense. They've shown they can take advantage of the smallest of mistakes. Backfields in an offset eye formation. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. This is as simple Three as it yards gets. There on the play. Man up on everybody and keep your safeties deep. Gives it to the back. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. The offense lines this one up in the shotgun. Three wide receivers in the formation. And they get nice yardage on that run. And that's not going to be enough to move the chains. Nope. And here's why. Good defensive awareness. They did a great job of recognizing the run early and reacting to the ball carrier. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. That's what a good pass rush can do for you. Yep, they got in the quarterback's face and made it tough on him to throw a good pass. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. 
Here's the option. There's a fumble. They tried the option there, and now they're on their way to the sideline. You're not going to stay on the field very long with sloppy play like that. I don't care if you're running the option or not. There's just no excuse. I'll tell you what. Write this down. The team with the most takeaways at the end of the year will have a winning record. And the teams with the most giveaways will have a losing record. It's been that way as long as I've been around this game. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Fullback's open. He just drops it. This one has INT written all over it if they try to throw it deep. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And they get the sack. The big fellas up front do a good job of protecting. The quarterback looks like he spent too much time looking for an open man. You're right, Kirk. It doesn't matter how good your offensive line is. If you make them pass protect for too long, you're going to get sacked. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. As a quarterback, you got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Pass complete and taken down immediately. So they execute, move a little closer to the sticks. Yeah, completing those short passes is the key because it lulls the defense to sleep a little bit. Then you can launch one big one downfield for a big game. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. Oh, man, they had him good there. The defense was looking to run, and they threw it for a big game. The running back really sold the run well that time. That allowed for the quarterback to get the ball downfield for a decent game. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. Wow. How about that catch, Kirk? He really got up there, didn't he, Coach? It's very tough to defend a guy who can go up and catch a ball like that. Very nice play there by the freshman receiver. You certainly don't expect these young guys to make plays like that. The option might be a good call here. And a halfback Just don't runs turn the for the ball first. Over. The reason that play pitch. was successful is simple. They got a good push up front. All the back had to do was run past that little yellow line right there. And they make the stop at about the 47-yard line. Second down and nine to go. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll work the right side. Fumble! A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Holding on the offense. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. Now let's hear from Aaron Andrews on some injury news. What do you got for us, Aaron? Thanks, guys. When I asked him how he was feeling, he said he had back pain like this before, and it's nothing he can't handle. He hopes to be back in the game soon. Guys, back up to you upstairs. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you for the report, Aaron. Drops back to pass. And they bring him down at the 25-yard line. Hey, if they were ever looking for a playmaker, then they found one in this wideout. Yeah, he really broke it open on that catch. Don't be surprised if the quarterback looks for him again very soon. Got his man and taken down by a host of tacklers. And a pickup of about seven. That's a good completion. They didn't get the first down, but they picked up about seven yards. Nice run there. A good carry for the first down. You guys know I like running players with the lead blocker. But if they can run consistently like they are right now, it doesn't matter how they're blocking it. As long as they block, they're going to make yards. As long as it's within the rules of the game, right, Lee? I like running here in this situation. They were not all. It's a safer play. play. No, sir. It's almost like they knew what was coming. Going with the shotgun here. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Touchdown, Mizzou. Boy, oh boy. This defense just doesn't have an answer for him. 
That's his third touchdown pass of the half. Well, Coach, it starts with the defensive line. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. Missouri to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. Single back set, three wide receivers. There's a flag down. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. They'll be called for an infraction. That will put Still them back a few paces. Man, the coaches are going to have to talk to these young guys about committing unnecessary fouls. The backfields in an offset eye formation. On the run, first down. Gets out to around the 32. The offense calls a timeout. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. He tackles him for a loss. The offense calls a timeout. Man coverage underneath. Single back set, three wide receivers. And they use motion. Has it to the senior. A flag came out after the ball was thrown. Let's see what this is. Personal foul. Roughing the passes. The officials march off 15 yards against the defense. And when the quarterback releases the football, you can't do that kind of stuff. It's bad for your team, and it makes you look like a fool. He throws it. And it's caught! And he's tackled at the 13-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. So the offense will move a First little bit closer with that penalty. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. And this one's broken up. How about that defense? Well, that's why he's on the field, to make plays like that. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Looks to pass. He's got all day. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. And that was a spectacular touchdown catch. Man, this guy is good. He catches the ball like a receiver. And guys, don't forget, he did play a little bit of wideout in high school. He makes the PAT. And here's our drive summary. Boise State to kick. Decent kick. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Well, fellas, what do you tell your offense after moving the ball so well on that last possession? You don't tell them anything. They moved the ball very well. It's the defense who needs some talking to. They really just need to cover better in the secondary. There's no reason why these receivers should be so wide open. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He's level at the 15. The offense calls a timeout. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. And it's right down the middle. Here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. I have a feeling this ball is going nowhere near the return man with this kickoff, most likely to end the half. From his own goal line. Makes it to the 22-yard line. 
We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. Our score here at Ferret Field is the Tigers 31, the Broncos 14. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Decent kick. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. I'd send the back off tackle. Maybe he can make a play. They'll work from the shotgun. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. The offense couldn't get those linemen blocked, and they'll lose yards. Well, here the defensive lineman did a great job at sealing up the hole at the line of scrimmage. And down he goes at the 43. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. There's a flag on the play. Holding on the offense. He didn't even try to hide it there. That was a blatant holding call. They'll call that every time. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, this is a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. around the 32-yard line. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They go with a run. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this call. Holding on the offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. And we have an update on an injury. Aaron? Thank you, guys. I've observed down here on the sidelines he's having trouble lifting his arm above his shoulder. So while it's only being called a bruise, he's still feeling constant pain in the area. The injury isn't serious at all, and he's ready to get back on the field. Guys, back up to you upstairs. Thank you for that update, Aaron. And this quarterback continues to control the game. That's his fourth touchdown pass. He's had one heck of a performance. Great job by this quarterback. For this offense to work, this quarterback really had to get rolling. And he's done well today. And he adds the extra point. That score leads us to our drive summary. They line up to kick this one away. And this is just a booming kick. Brought down at the 26. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Nice run there as they work the outside. They got four yards on that one. Two tight ends here. Brought down at about the 35. He gets four, maybe five yards on the counter. They line up in a double tight set. Toss. He's to the 40. Down the sideline. And he's brought down at the 26-yard line. Oh, that was a huge play there, Scooter. They almost took it the distance. That was just superb blocking up front. He took the toss, got wide, and there was nobody left to get him. It was a great call and an even better run. Give this guy some space, and he has one tough back to stop. 
Now is a good time to bring pressure with the linebackers. I'd go with the blitz. And we got the backup in there now at running back. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. There's an injured player, and we'll try to find out who it is. This blitz is effective stuffing the run, as well as putting pressure on the quarterback. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. He tried to force that one in. It should have been intercepted. He can't be thrown into coverage like that. The defense is in a 3-2-6. Drops back to pass. Throwing left. Makes the grab and steps out right away. So they'll keep the drive alive with a first down pass. It's fourth down. They got the offense on their heels and then let them do that. I don't think it was bad defense. It was just a good pitch and catch for the conversion. And he's tackled right away. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. With a quick throw. They're really fortunate to still have a shot at points. That wasn't one of the prettiest passes I've ever seen. He's got to be relieved it wasn't picked. I bet you that defender thought it was a pretty pass. Too bad it bounced off his hands. That should have been an INT. And they're looking to get two points here. They put everyone up on the line. He's in for the conversion. Let's take a glance at the drive summary. Well, apparently, this return team just doesn't trust the kicker. They're in an onside kick formation. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. This offense has been really successful today, Kirk. Their team has a solid lead, and their scheme has worked very well for them. Yeah, and the crowd has been behind these guys the entire game. Every time I come here, I'm just amazed by how loud it gets in this stadium. As a quarterback, you've got to be aware of what the defense is throwing at you. And it's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. Dumps it out left to the running back. And they make the stop at the 31. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. And down he goes at the 24. A seven-yard gain that time from the play-action pass completion. The defense here let the halfback roam free for a second, and they were able to connect for a short gain on the play. Those defenders really timed that snap. I'll tell you, they were in the backfield before the running back knew what hit them. That's right, Coach. No chance on that play. Slings it quickly to his halfback again. There's the lucky break that this team has been looking for. Well, I'll tell you this. If these guys are going to make a run at coming back in this game, they better do it right now. They need to get the momentum on their side and really take advantage of this mistake. Now let's see if they capitalize. Out to the fullback, and he can't pull it in. They're just one quarter away. Our score here at Ferret Field is Missouri 38, Boise State 22. I'd go with cover two with man coverage underneath. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Passes and it's almost picked off. They just couldn't Send capitalize the corner on the blitz. Pass. She had an open shot, shot at the but he couldn't get the pick. They line up in the shotgun, three wide. And that'll bring up a big fourth down. The defense held down the fourth there. It'll be interesting to see what they decide to do now on the offensive side of the ball. Get 
gets to about the 24-yard line. A fumble ended this offense's last drive. Let's see as they come out on the field what they'll do this time around. The offense needs to be more careful on this drive, Kirk. Especially since this defense is so good at taking advantage of mistakes. Here's a throw, and it's almost picked. They're really fortunate that wasn't intercepted. Not a very smart decision by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. Yeah, but that defender had a perfect shot at it. He just didn't catch it. Caught. Looks like someone was called for holding. Holding on the offense. Good call. Yeah, he practically brought him to the ground there. They come out in a nickel. Catches it and hit for no gain. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, gave a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Drops back. Complete across the middle. Touchdown, Missouri! Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. That was a really nice throw by the quarterback. He found the receiver in between the coverage on the post route, and he had no problem finding the end zone. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So the offense takes over, and they'll try to figure out this defense as they forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. Offset eye formation in the backfield. It's a fumble. That looks like a one-yard gain. This is easy. Run cover two with man cover. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. He drops back. Gets it. He's in space. Inside the 30. And he's taken down at the 16-yard line. They sure have a long way to go in this game, but that was certainly a spark of life. That was a great completion. If they had completed more passes like that, then they wouldn't be losing this bad in the fourth quarter. First down. Look at the throw. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. They sure did, but somehow he got rid of the football. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Rose, complete touchdown. And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. That was a very nice route by the receiver. He made one cut on the post route, and that was it. He caught a beautiful ball, and he got his team six points. And they won't get the two. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. They don't get it. First and a foul. Face mask on the defense. 
Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. And now we're going to take a look at the drive summary. Here goes nothing. And he just got drilled. The yes. So the hands Don't team does their you. job, and the play. outside is not successful. When people talk about special teams winning football games, they're usually talking about blocking kicks and big returns. But the onside return team can be just as important. And right now, these guys may have sealed the deal with that recovery. This play should work out very nicely. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. The defense sets up in the nickel. First down grab by the receiver. That was a pretty nice play by the receiver to go up and get that pass. Yeah, the pass was a little bit high, but this kid had no trouble adjusting and making a great play. game up guys yeah that score pretty much puts this game in the books I agree 100% with you Kirk if they could have stopped them or forced a turnover they might have had a very slight chance but a three score lead with little time left too much he splits the uprights with the extra point and now we take a look at the drive summary Missouri lines up for the kickoff. And this is just a booming kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. And this offense needs to continue to produce on the scoreboard because they're still losing this game. He's tackled at the 29. A decent pickup that time. And see, guys, that's when this offense is at their best. If they can connect on these intermediate patterns, they'll allow them to be a lot more creative on offense. It is a very dangerous-looking throw going across his body, but they got the results they wanted. It was a good pickup. And it looks like we've got our Russell Athletic players of the game. Drops back to pass. Throws out and through his hands. Well, that was an impressive stand by the defense. Three good defensive plays equals punt. Nice job, guys. He'll hand it off. First down. He's finally tackled at the 27. With that carry, this back has just surpassed 100 yards on the ground today. They stuck to their game plan. They kept it on the ground and pounded the ball out. And one thing this team is used to relying on is a solid running game. They've certainly gotten that today. Unbelievable. This defense just continues to impress. This just must feel like a bad dream to this offensive coordinator. Nothing has gone right today, and his quarterback 